Hey guys, welcome to episode number 222. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday, and I'm happy to say we bought a house. <clears throat> and of course, with that comes an unfinished basement, or at least half of the basement is unfinished. And what you're seeing now is the first look at what will be the fish room. So let me just walk you through this room real quick to show you what's up, what I have planned, and to get your suggestions. This is the stairway down into the basement, and there's the finished portion here. Um, but when you hook a left through the door, what you come to is the electrical closet, uh, which is actually up on that wall there. You won't be able to see it very well, there's no lights in there. Um, but then you have this little doorway closet around it. Um, I may or may not take that closet down uh, just to free up some extra room there along that wall but the electrical is there in that corner so that's something to uh, be mindful of. Um, I do have about 16 inches here between the start of this door frame and the wall and there is uh, some plumbing running through there so I don't want to uh, obstruct this part of the wall uh, but I do have 16 inches to work with along this wall as we enter the room. Um, you'll notice that the door does swing into the other room so that leaves both sides here um, without a door swinging into it. And what I'm envisioning is if you walk through here what you'd be greeted with here on your left is a bank of 40 gallon breeder tanks which go kind of this way. Um, I'm thinking too tall. It's about 82 inches from the ceiling um, to the floor of unobstructed space. So I'm thinking about two will fit. I've got a sketch up to share with you later. But what I'm thinking is um, having two banks of 40 gallon tanks here. Um, and I'll show you the sketch up whoa, um, at a later time but that's where the 40 gallon breeders would go and actually some of the tanks would be straddling this uh, lally column post uh, which is the center post for the house um, so I would have a 40 gallon breeder kind of going this way and then I'd have um, 40 gallon breeders on this side and on this side of it and I would just repeat that same thing uh, over here as well. And what I'm thinking is if all of those tanks can drain down into a two inch line, uh, I could put that line through the wall here into what is uh, below the stairs here. And I could um, insulate this, soundproof this, and uh, put up a, a moisture barrier uh, in, in this, and maybe even put a, a door in here. Uh, and then throw a 100 gallon stock tank in there as my central uh, sump for my filtration. Um, and I could also probably install an air blower under there as well. And then feed all of those lines out so that my filtration goes in. Uh, I've got my filter in there, the pump pumps it back out, the air gets pumped out, so all of my equipment stays in there nice and tidy and uh, hopefully fairly quiet, um, which would basically take up um, a large part of the center of this room. Now the two things that I will have are that far wall there which we already talked about. If I knock that closet out then I've got this entire wall here as well to work with and I might be able to fit a 300 gallon stock tank in here. I might end up um, custom building a stock tank out of 2x4s um, which could perfectly fit the dimensions of the space that I have here from this corner to the back corner um, out to here somewhere and then build that up in something of a, a box and uh, use a pond liner um, for some turtles but this is the bulkhead it's kind of an extra large size bulkhead and the stairs are kind of awkward because they don't uh, span the entire distance but the first thing I have to do here is put in a doorway here uh, you'll see there was one at one point um, and keep that insulated so that I keep the heat in um, I'll also probably have to install um, a dehumidifier uh, there's an old one sitting right there um, and probably a fan for some air exchange to keep this place 
um, not as humid and I might exhaust that out uh, up there somewhere not quite sure yet but we do have the plumbing hookups here the washer and dryer and the slop sink utility sink will be going along this wall here um, not quite sure exactly where but you'll see I have my power um, for the dryer and I've got my water hookups there and um, I believe the uh, the drain is there as well so the drain for the house that's an old uh, old pipe from the uh, the previous washer um, so that's all set that's all ready to go and that should be pretty easy to plumb what I'll probably end up doing is putting uh, a three-stage carbon filter on that wall somewhere as well and run a drip line uh, into whatever system I might have set up here but the system I described here with the 40 gallon breeders I'll show you the sketch up so you guys can get a better sense of what I'm talking about that's gonna kinda be phase one that's gonna be the first system that I wanna set up uh, in the meantime I've gotta drag over the 40 gallon breeders that I already have so I might just set that up somewhere over here out of the way so that I have plenty of room to work uh, in this area when I do start that build and then phase two might be utilizing this wall and utilizing this wall here and uh, seeing about a, uh, a turtle tank of some sort, stock tank of some sort. Um, not quite sure exactly when phase one or phase two are going to kick off or complete but you will see I have some electrical um, that I'll need to address and uh, you know I might need to do some insulation um, work to keep my heat in uh, obviously you want to keep the heat in if you're going to heat the room instead of the tanks uh, you have to make sure that you're not wasting money on that so uh, I'm going to do a full breakdown of um, what that might be and plan it all out and then execute it slowly so that I make sure that I do it correctly uh, but anyways guys that's the first look at the basement uh, there's kind of a utility closet back there and then that goes back to the uh, the finished part of the basement again um, but this is kind of the space that I have to work with as you can see I've got plenty of plenty of space to work with here and it's really exciting because it will give me the opportunity to set this up just the way that I want and I'm open to any suggestions you guys have uh, on what you think I should do, what size tanks you think I should use, any tips and tricks you guys have for setting up uh, your own fish rooms that I might be able to apply down here. But as you can see, uh, it's a nice, clean, open space and it's ready to transform into a fish room. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.